So you want to turn your idea into an app with Claude Code. So how do you start? Before you open up Claude Code and just ask it to please build, I want to show you a better way. Now I have tried a bunch of workflows, but I keep coming back to this one because it is so simple, but incredibly effective. Let me show you how to turn Claude Code into an AI assistant that builds exactly what you want. Here's the thing, Claude Code is incredibly powerful, but it's not perfect. It has no memory between sessions for the most part. And when you're running tasks, it doesn't always know where it's at in the project. Every time you start a new conversation, it's like bringing in a new developer who knows nothing about your project. You end up explaining the same things over and over. And sometimes Claude recreates files that already exist and tasks get duplicated or forgotten entirely. But what if we could give Claude Code a much better memory bank? And that's exactly what this framework does. This simple framework has just four parts to take Claude code to the next level. We have a PRD that defines what we're building, a Claude.md file that trains Claude how to work on your project, a planning.md file that captures all the important architecture we need for the project, and a tasks.md file that tracks every single task that we're working on for the project. So let's build step by step. I'm gonna create a simple app, but first I'm gonna create a PRD. Now what is a PRD? It's a project requirements document. It's basically just a roadmap for what you're working on. Now I'm gonna go into Claude Opus because the good thing is you don't have to write this PRD yourself. You can use an AI assistant. Now I want to make a web app that allows users to chat with a productivity coach. This coach is just based on some of the notes I've taken for 15 productivity books. Rather than going back and rereading the books or my notes, I can just chat with this app. And here we go. After just a minute, Claude Opus has generated a super detailed project requirements documentation. And look at this. I mean, they even put in stuff like user stories, technical requirements, success metrics. I mean, this looks like we're about to put a pitch deck together to give a, a VC. Now, once we have the PRD, this actually is not going to go directly into Claude code. We're gonna create three other files that will serve as the baseline for our project and will initiate our first prompt to get the app going. So after we have the PRD, we're gonna go into Claude Opus again and say, generate a Claude.md file from this PRD that will guide future Claude code sessions on this project. Now, what is the Claude.md file? I have another video on how to get started in Claude code in case you're not familiar with any of the Claude code basics. And I'll link that down in the show notes, but it's basically just rules that you give Claude for your project. Now, once I enter this prompt, I'm gonna press enter and see what it comes back with. So one of the key components that you want in this Claude.md file to make this four-step framework work is to include the following. Always read Planning MD at the start of every new conversation. Check tasks.md before starting your work and mark completed tasks immediately and add any new tasks that you discover. By putting this in Claude.md, we're making sure that Claude code, every prompt you give it, it's going to look at these planning.md file, tasks.md file to make sure that it's on track and it's doing the right thing. These instructions basically create a consistent workflow that Claude will follow religiously in every session. Okay, this is great, but we're not quite done yet. There's two more files that we need to put together, planning.md and task.md. Now these serve slightly different purposes, but each is very important. Planning.md is basically the project vision. It's your architecture, technology stack, required tools, etc. What language are you working in? Are you making a React app? Are you making a Python app? These kind of things. The tasks app is exactly what it sounds like. It's literally just a list of maybe even 100 or 200 tasks that you have to go through to create the app. And Claude Code is gonna actually check them off as it goes through each one. This makes sure that even if you're starting new sessions, it knows where it's at in the project. If something's already been done, it's not gonna redo it. It knows exactly where to pick up, exactly where you left off and what to do next. So I'm gonna go and enter the prompt to create planning.md. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back into Claude and enter the prompt to create task.md. Very simple, and again, I'll put all these in the show notes so that you guys know what to do for your project. So tasks.md is basically where we break down the entire project into concrete actionable items organized by milestones. These are really specific things that Claude Code needs to work on. And as it does, it'll mark them off when it completes them. It'll also put a date when it completes them so you know when it happened. When it discovers new tasks, which always happens, it adds them to the list. It's like a living project roadmap. So now that we have those three files, we're gonna download them, which you can do in Markdown format from Claude directly. We're gonna copy and paste them into our project directory where we have Claude code running. You see I have Claude.md, Planning.md, and Task.md in my root directory here. 
So what do we do now to get started? What I recommend doing is turning planning mode on, which you can do shift tab tab to turn plan mode on, and then enter the following prompt. Please read planning.md, claw.md, and task.md to understand the project. Then complete the first task from task.md. If you already have a project going, you can enter up something like check claw.md, planning.md, and task.md to see where we are in the project, then pick up where we left off. It's that simple. Every time you open Claude code, you can start exactly where you left off without losing any progress or any context. It all gets stored in these files. That's the beauty of it. So Claude doesn't hallucinate. Claude doesn't mess up. And you get a beautiful working app. Here's a pro tip. If you get to the end of your session and you're wondering, what do I do now to make sure all this progress gets stored in the context? And remember, Claude code doesn't have unlimited context. When you're working, you'll notice that it will tell you you have a certain percentage left before it clears the context. And it is recommended that you clear context a lot so that you're getting better results and the AI is not hallucinating. But when you clear, you lose all the previous context and progress done. Even though we have these three files, how do we make sure that that progress is getting summarized? Now you can come in here and say slash compact but that doesn't always work. So what I like to do is enter this prompt right here. Please add a session summary to Claude.md summarizing what we've done so far. This way you get a slightly better summary than what the compact summary provides. So I let Claude code cook on this for 30 minutes. Let's see how it did. So here we go. This is what it came up with. Clarity coach, your AI productivity coach. I love this. Okay, let's try a test prompt. It might take a few seconds to call the API. This is running on Gemini 2.5 Pro in case anyone's wondering. And I mean, Claude Code did a pretty good job on this UI too. This doesn't look super generic. I mean, I like the way this looks. And awesome, it works. It calls the AI assistant, summarizes all these book notes I put in here to give productivity advice, or in this example, how to avoid procrastination. It's a working app. Claude Code does a great job, and it's because we use this four-step framework to guide it every step of the way so it didn't make mistakes. There you have it. Four simple steps transform Claude Code from a confused assistant into an elite development partner. Every session starts with complete project understanding, tasks never get lost, and your development log captures everything. Try this framework on your next Claude Code project. I guarantee it'll change how you work with AI assistants. Thanks for watching and happy coding.